when we can't move, when we can't do anything. He lifts us up out of it. When she went to slide it, all this glass came and fell, fell. And she was in, she was surrounded by glass. They told him, says, told him what happened. He ran into that bathroom. And what he what did he do? He lifted her up out and put her on safety. And not only is he lifting you up, he's establishing your feet. He's establishing your path. Now it's up to you. It's up to you to, to go and go the way God has called you to do. He, you're not in that situation anymore. You do not have to go back into what God, what, what, what God has delivered you out of. Well, good morning, everyone. <laughs> Glory to God, I made it, y'all. Hallelujah. God is good and he's worthy to be praised. I thank God uh, for another day. I thank God for another Sunday. Thank God for another opportunity to share the word of God with you. As you can see, I'm on the road again. I am in... Greenville, South Carolina. I'll be going to Love Story Church this morning. Um, my pastor John and Avita Gray, and we have. Um, uh, I I am facilitator slash pastor of a of a Love Story group called Atlanta Blend, and uh, this is a, a T-shirt that Minister Angie designed for us. And so we are. This is sign up sign up week, and so we came up. Um, as those of you that see on our Instagram and Facebook, we set up our table and so that we'll go and um, there'll be a cue card, uh, 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 a cue, you know, code that you can scan. And listen, you do not have to be a member of Love Story Church to be a part of Atlanta Blend. So I will be posting the information on how you can sign up for Atlanta Blend. We meet on Tuesday evenings from 6.30 to 8, and then on Friday mornings at 6.30, we have a time of prayer. Then there's other things that we do in fun on the inside, we get together or whatever. So it, it and Atlanta Blend is just what it says. Uh, I, we uh, started that group um, when the campus was at Atlanta, and there were so many people, I had never seen a church, a church so big, a baby church. We had a thousand people or more. And so I knew that we needed to have, they needed, they needed to be able to have a community, a small group to be able to uh, get to know people. And so I called my group the Atlanta Blend, which means it's a blend of all ages, all genders. And so that we learn together and uh, we have a great time. It's a lot of fun. You know, with my personality, it's going to be, it's going to be a little wild. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we got to scoot on down there. And so uh, I, 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 but I got a word. I got a word. The Lord gave me a word for you today. And it came from uh, basically uh, watching um, my church. You understand. Hallelujah. Oh, I just want to also thank people. Uh, I had one fa one faithful viewer. His name is Derek McComb, uh, McComb, and he is a faithful viewer. And I just want to say thank you, Derek, for being so faithful. You watch every Sunday. You comment. It's just it, it, it's just amazing. And he was talking about he was he's at work, so he gets a chance to watch this at work. He usually catches the replay. He doesn't always catch it live, but he um, he enjoyed having communion, and he was able to kind of 
sit at work and just commune with God with communion. So uh, as the Spirit of the Lord leads, we will be having communion. He just definitely reminded me last week. So praise God. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you and praise you for my Facebook family and friends. I thank you for my Instagram family and friends. Lord, I thank you, Father God, for this word. I thank you, Lord, that you are going to just uh, cause people to know that you lift them up out of out of all sorts of situations. And we thank you, Father, that even now they, they're looking to you to be lifted up. And so, Father, you are the lifter of our heads. Lord, I just so honored to be your pastor. I ask you, Father, that you will think through my mind and speak through my lips that will only speak the oracles of God, and I will give you all praise and glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, yeah. Oh, that's one other thing. Um, what a crazy week. I am working with the New Georgia Project up in Athens. That's where the University of Georgia is. And um, this past week, there was a shooting. Um, two students were killed, as well as two uh, teachers, as well as I think nine people were injured. Uh, and, and, and the thing about it is, is that I go by that area. And so on that particular day, my GPS rerouted me. Remember the message that I had that God was a GPS? Uh, and so I realized that, that once it said it turned me another way, I went on and did it. And then when I did, I got right in the midst of the street where the, where the shooting had taken place. Um, all the cars, the students, it was, it was, uh, it was crazy. So our office that day closed down. And so I was able to turn back home, but we keep those families lifted up and we just pray for God to really do something mighty, to do something mighty and turn that situation around in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me see who that is. That's Wanda. Hi, why, hi. God bless you. All right. All right. Oh, I was going to, okay. You know, um, in studios, TV studios, they have what we call the green room. And the green room is basically uh, uh, a room, a, a very fancy room where the, um, People who are going to be on the show, you can prepare. And in the green room is usually, uh, you know, a shower. Uh, I remember when I worked at Oral Roberts, the green room, we had one room that had a couch and had all the bathrooms and things. Uh, you could take a shower. You could, you could literally come there and change your clothes. And then there was another room. There was another room that had, um, that, that had, that had the, where you could get your makeup and everything. Well, uh, Love Story Church ha has a green room. And so uh, this particular Sunday, last Sunday, uh, Pastor Ab, who's a co-pastor, uh, was, you know, used, was, was going to, you know, get prepared and ready for church. And um, uh, when she went to open uh, the, the shower door, the shower doors are, are glass. And so what she did is that she slit you know went to when she went to slide it all this glass came and fell fell and then she was in she was surrounded by glass surrounded by glass and uh she screamed because she couldn't move and and she was so grateful she was so grateful that her daughter wasn't standing there with her because usually you know her daughter would have been there and of course, here she is, you know, she can't wait to go in the shower. So, you know, you, 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 you got to get all your clothes off in order to, to get in the shower. So there she is, you know, in her birthday suit and she can't move. And I think one of the people were able to kind of do a little something, but here's what happened. Her husband, Pastor John Gray, got, was get, got to the church. It's, you know, this is pretty early. I mean, you know, before service and, um, they told him, says, told him what happened. He ran into that bathroom and what he, what did he do? He lifted her up out and put her on safety. Woo! When I heard that, I thought about the Lord. 
I thought about God and how he lifts us up out of a mess. When we can't move, when we can't do anything, he lifts us up out of it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And here was the amazing thing. There wasn't a scratch on her. Because, you know, she was telling this, you know, if you, and, and I still have the service from last week on. And, and she looked beautiful, of course. And uh, none of her children were protected. And I would also say that morning, because Pastor John was talking about how the Lord had woke him up like four in the morning. And, 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 and the same thing happened with me last Sunday. Because I'm just going, okay, God, you know I got to preach. And, and, and so but I just kept praying. See, when you're praying in tongues, you're praying divine secrets and you're stopping the tracks of the enemy in your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Here's a scripture. I'm not going to be long before you today because I got to get, get down to love story, but I'm going to give you a full word. The Lord's going to give you a full word. You're not going to get a snack. You can get a full meal today. And this, I, here's the scripture, the Lord, um, the gave me was Psalms 40 verses one and two. This is in the King James. And you know that I'm going to read it in the Amplified. I waited patiently for the Lord. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a, a terrible, a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. Glory to God. In the Amplified, it says, I waited patiently and expectantly for the Lord. Expecting God. Looking for him. And he inclined to me and heard my cry. You're crying out to the Lord today. He hears your cry. He hears your cry. He drew me up out of a horrible pit, a pit of tumult and of destruction. You may not be surrounded by um, glass, but you can be in the midst of a, of, a, of a terrible situation. You may be in a, a situation of abuse. You may be in a situation where, you're, where you, you are hooked on drugs. You may be where your heart has been broken. You've lost a loved one. But God is there with you. And listen, a pit of tumult and of destruction out of the mighty clay, the froth and the slime. And he set my feet upon a rock. That's a firm foundation. Steadying my steps and establishing my goings. Oh, hallelujah. When Pastor John lifted his wife out of danger. Then they were able to clean it all up and she was able to get ready. Because when you saw her, you would have thought nothing had happened. She was beautiful as ever. Oh, but God had done a work. I want to tell you right now, God is lifting you up out of that situation. And not only is he lifting you up, he's establishing your feet. He's establishing your path. Now it's up to you. It's up to you to, to go and go the way God has called you to do. He, you're not in that situation anymore. You don't have to go back. Hallelujah. You do not have to go back into what God, what, what, what God has delivered you out of. Hallelujah. All oh, be encouraged today. When we can't move, God will lift us up. Oh, I've cried out to the Lord and he heard me. Oh, he's, I have cried to the Lord. 
I said, Lord, forgive me. And he's forgiven me. Lord, give me a new start. He's given me a new start. See, it says that your mercies, his mercies are new every morning. You're not in the pit anymore. He's through his blood, his blood. He's lifted you out. Remember last week I preached about from two to 10 and because of his blood, we are a 10. We're sitting in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let him lift you up today. Oh, just lift up your hands as representative of that God has lifted you up. That your praise is making a difference. That your confessions is making a difference. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. God is doing a great work in you. That song that uh, uh, Brian called, he's doing a great work, a great work. He's doing a great work in me. God is doing a great work, a great work. He's doing a great work in me. So, so let him lift you out that pit. This is a new day. You, you keep going in God. And you know, that day, Pastor Ann ministered to us, encouraged us. She kept going on what God had called her to do. Hallelujah. Be obedient to do what God has called you to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Mm. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this word. I thank you, Father, that you've lifted us up out of the miry clay and that you have established our steps. For it says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So, Lord, I thank you and I praise you for what you're doing and how you're moving, Father God. Thank you for this word being sealed, Father God. Lord, that they are, are encouraged today that God has lifted them up out of whatever mess they're in and established their going. So I thank you, Lord, for that now, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right, you know, the first step to getting out the pit is to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. So repeat after me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm a sinner, Lord. I ask you, Lord, to save me. Thank you, Lord, for coming into my heart and saving me. In Jesus name. Now, if you said that prayer for the first time, um, I have an ebook or, or you have uh, rededicated. I have an ebook that'll give you some steps in order to, to know what to do after you've accepted the Lord. Oh, I thank you so much for your giving. I know that the money that people have planted in my life it caused me to be able to come up here and minister. So I do have Cash App. I do have Zelle. Uh, I have uh, PayPal. And then um, if you go up to RevHarrietBradley.com slash give, you can get the address of where you can uh, mail something. So uh, I just want you to be encouraged today. Be sure to tune into Love Story. It's going to be good. I may do a Facebook Live or Instagram Live at the booth. But anyway, I love you, be encouraged, and guess what? I'll see you next Sunday with another powerful word. God bless you. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye. Hello, and thank you so much for watching this video. I trust and I pray that it has been a blessing to your life and that you'll be able to take some of the things that were imparted upon you and apply it to your life for a better quality of living. So if it was a blessing to you, uh, we would greatly appreciate it if you would hit the like button and the subscribe button if you wish to see when this content comes out. And if you want to be notified when it comes out, then you can hit the little bell notification and you'll be the first to know. So with that, I trust that you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time.